we are going to be trying to guess our favorite celebrities' final meals. These were icons, and we want to celebrate them by trying to guess their favorite foods. But if we get it wrong, one of our friends gets a punishment, and I'm on Team Maddie. I'm on Team Daniel. Right now, Daniel and Maddie are tied up to ropes over our pool. If we guess the wrong food, they have to cut a rope. Last to fall in wins. I do not want to go in the pool and get my hair wet. First up, the king of pop, Michael Jackson himself. I grew up listening to all of his music. Let's just see what he ate for his last meal and try to figure out which one it is. Looks like a spinach salad with chicken. Is it thick water? Michael Jackson had a lot of siblings, the Jacksons, but he was definitely like the skinniest, I think pretty fit. Water doesn't seem like enough. That's not a meal, so I am gonna go with the spinach chicken salad. I'm gonna actually go with the water because I know that he loved to hydrate to feed his angelical voice. Okay. Here we go, I'm gonna go water. I'm going salad. Oh. Yeah! Uh. Oh man, I can't believe Matt got that wrong. And now you're gonna have one less wire. Hope you don't fall ooh, in. Ooh. It's pretty basic. It's just lettuce and chicken. Yeah, there's not a lot to this salad. Mm. Whoever prepared this. So he just had salad. I would think your last meal would be like really bad, greasy fast food or something. But to eat this and then wake up or not wake up. Yeah, what would your last meal be, Beck? Probably cake. What was your last meal today? Probably cake. Dang. That is very scary. I hope that happens for you next. I'm ready to cut some wires. The next one is the extremely handsome. Paul Walker. Super tragic that he passed away though. Yes, you guys know the movies Fast and the Furious, he was like an icon. Plus a lot of girls might have thought he was attractive, you Nobody know? Nobody thought he was attractive. I mean, right? everyone did. And he had real six pack abs. What Paul Walker's last meal was. Three, two, one. Oh. This looks like tuna with no crust. This is a tuna with crust. We actually don't know what Paul Walker's last meal was, but we know what his first meal was on the set of the Fast and the Furious. Oh. And that's what we're gonna be guessing today. You brought up that movie, Rebecca, and since you loved him so much, I'll let you go ahead and guess first. Since you are a huge Paul Walker fan, okay. I thought he was super attractive. Well, Maybe listen, you know what his favorite meal oh is, or first goodness. meal. I feel like Paul Walker, he was super laid back. He cared about people. He wasn't like a diva on set. So I think he just had a normal tuna sandwich. I actually know this movie pretty good because I know Paul Walker very well as well. I'm gonna go with no crust. I'm gonna go with crust. Boom. Okay, you know what? Boom. I think it wasn't as a diva. I think he was just like keeping his body fit and he wanted to cut out the carbs of the crust. Yes. Oh, come on, Rebecca. Okay, I mean, I didn't make you fall in. It's not gonna make me fall in. Daniel, you can't cut I the can't, wire? No, I can't. How weak are you? I've been working out, Maddie, but Have I- you? <sighs> I'm still up here. I'm not in the pool. It is actually Rebecca scene in the movie. What? It had nothing to do with Paul Walker's actual personality. Oh. So I thought we would reenact the scene right now. What? Tuna on white, no crust, right? Uh, I don't know, how is it? You know, you've been coming in here asking me about the tuna. It was bad yesterday. It was bad the day before, and guess what? It's bad today. I'll have the tuna. No crust? No crust. And scene. <sighs> Crushed it! That was a shout out to you, Paul Walker. All right, Matt, eat it. Looks a little stale. You're right, pretty bad. Man. I miss him. Next up, we have the incomparable Elvis Presley. I mean, this guy was a legend. Yes, ain't nothing but a hound dog, and he had the hips that moved, and all the ladies loved him. Filmed over 31 movies, he had 18 number one hits, 17 albums, and 54 of his singles went gold. Oh my gosh. He sold more albums than the Beatles. Hey, pretty lady, ain't what? nothing but a hound dog. Bill, since my baby left me. Remember, we have some people, some friends, hanging off wires, so we oh, should yeah. get going. Yeah. Oh. What? Sam Bam, comment below what do you think Elvis Presley ate? Was it ice cream or this? Team Maddie and Team Rebecca need to get this right and get the win so Maddie does not have to get into the pool because I'm pretty sure she washed her hair last night. Okay, late in his life, I do know that Elvis actually gained some weight. Okay. It was highly documented and this was actually his favorite meal. I know this was it. What? How do you know that? I mean, I'm a big Elvis fan. He's Fuller. a big Google fan. Maybe that too. But this is a deep fried peanut butter, bacon, and banana sandwich. I don't want to test that, so I'm really hoping it's ice cream. I'm going. Ice cream. Yeah. Ugh, Come on. Sorry, I'm gonna go ice cream as well. Does that mean we have to try ice cream? Oh darn. Oh no. I wanted to try this one too. Did you really? Yeah. Then try it. Not gonna do it. Do it. Out of respect. Yes, Rebecca got it right. Yeah, good job, Matt. Staying on land a little Ooh. bit longer. Mm. How was it? It's pretty good. You should just try that one. I want the ice cream actually. But if you do. You have a little bit of the ice cream? I'm not sharing a spoon, so you're gonna have to drink it. I have to drink it like a milkshake. I will. Ew, the slurps. This is not an ASMR video. This next one is an icon. I was obsessed with her, and she did not pass away very long ago. You guys, the amazing, incredible Betty White. She was pretty awesome, and her love for animals actually is pretty astonishing as well. She lived to 99 years old. That's amazing. I want to live to 99 or older. I want to. I want to hit that hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what she ate. Three, Here we go. Two, one. 
Okay. Oh. We actually don't know what her final meal was, but someone here knows what her favorite meal was. So one of these is actually her favorite meal. Okay, this is for Maddie. I don't want her hair getting wet, so I've got to get this right. Um, I'm gonna go with steak and potatoes. I mean, it's pretty good. And she grew up in that era when steak and potatoes was a hot thing. I don't know. I feel like it's Betty White. She's mm -hmm. like, she's quirky. She's not just gonna do what you think. She's gonna do something different. And if she lived to 99, I feel like the ironic thing would be to eat kind of unhealthy. I'm going with the unhealthy. No way. Oh, yes! I knew it! I mean, Betty White, she's not basic. She's gonna have ruffles, chips, french fries, and licorice. Is this what you have to do Red to lines. live to 99? Yep, try, I mean, I'll have this. Rebecca got Betty White right? Oh, but look Come like on, Matt. 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 Mm. Oh, no. <gasps> Next celebrity actually died tragically in her own house. This is Brittany Murphy. Oh, she's been in a bunch of movies. If you guys know any of them, comment below. But I will say one of them, one of her first breakout roles was in a movie called Clueless, which I am you still obsessed movie. with. You love that movie. Did you know that the house that she died in, Britney Spears had lived in, oh. said she felt a weird presence and had to move out. She felt like it was um, evil spirits were there, which is super weird because then Britney Murphy went and lived there and then this happened. So creepy. Okay. I like got goosebumps. Okay, well, let's just try to see what her last okay. name was, okay? We're investigators now trying to figure this out. Three, two, Hash brown and eggs. This Not bad, actually. I would have that. Breakfast for dinner. I mean, I'm a big fan. This is chow mein, but it's like, it's been eaten, so it's like, I guess she was just eating leftovers, which I have no problem with. I'm a leftover girl. And a Gatorade? Like Gatorade. Maybe she needs to stay hydrated. This is tough, though. I don't know that much about Brittany Murphy, like, as far as her eating habits. This makes more sense to be a last meal, so I'm gonna go with this. For a last meal? Brown. No, it, it was at night when it happened. I don't know. I mean, unless she wants breakfast for dinner, which is a possibility, but my gut just feels like maybe she just had some like leftovers from the fridge and Gatorade for electrolytes, so. Ah. No. Boom. Daniel might be in the pool already. Oh, Come Matt on. got a second one wrong oh, in a row. Matt, you don't know anything about pop culture or what? Okay. Oh, you're gonna be down to only half of your wires? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, why are we doing this again? I'm only here because of the bet we made, right, Maddie? Yes, the loser helps the winner prank the other person's teammate. All right, here we go. Come on, Matt. I don't wanna fall in the pool. Me neither. This is leftovers, which means someone ate this before me. Who ate that? I, I didn't. I didn't either. Are okay. you like a little sus right now? Well, I'm sus, but obviously I don't want Maddie going in, so I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Good last meal? Mm-hmm. I'm not bad. You want some? I'm passing. What? Mm. This one's a tough one for us because it's Kobe Bryant. Ugh. How can you not love Kobe Bryant? Everyone. He was an icon to everybody. Probably one of the best basketball players of all time. And it was so tragic. Zamfam, I don't know if you remember this, but he took a helicopter. They were trying to get to his daughter's basketball game when it happened, and it was really foggy, which just, ugh. Oh, he was such a good dad. Try to figure this out, okay? Okay. Eggs and hash browns. And this is a protein shake. I think it has a little banana in it too. I'm gonna go with this because I know it happened right after breakfast time. In the morning? Yeah, so I'm gonna go Ooh. with eggs and hash browns. I don't know. Okay, you know what, honestly, Matt and I never agree on anything, but I'm gonna do that too. I think he'd be hungry, he needs energy. Mm. Oh no. I'm sorry, Maddie. They both have to cut a rope. You guys tell her I'm sorry. I'm trying my uh. hardest right now. No! I'm giving up on Matt. I just don't think he knows anything okay, about these celebrities. I'm so. gonna cut yours first because I think you might go into the oh, pool no. right now. Oh, no. Okay, Daniel. Come on, Matt. After this one. Oh, okay. Ooh. How? Ooh. You're down to two. You're hanging by a thread. Ooh. Two threads. <laughs> two threads. I mean, do you want me to just cut my own? I know it's a little difficult. I'll try. I can do it. Only one, Daniel. No cheating. Oh, hold on. Choose one. This okay. one? Sure. <laughs> Muscles win. He probably had a workout, and this is like the shake after, so he could It's a recover. protein shake after a workout. So he must have worked out and then hopped on the plane so he could get to his daughter's basketball game, which makes it even more sad. You gotta try it. I'll oh. try this one, okay? Yeah, you can. It's actually pretty good. Okay, Zamfam, I hope you're keeping track. Comment below which one was your favorite out of all of these. All of them are pretty iconic. I don't know, Betty White. Betty Kobe White, might be mine Kobe, right now. and then there's, uh, I don't know. You can't, I can't pick a favorite. I can't pick, uh, yeah, I can't yet. This next celebrity was one of the most famous women of all time. Ooh. Somebody Rebecca's grandmother knows a little bit about. Marilyn Monroe. Oh! Yes, okay, this is a true story, Zamfam. Some of you guys know this. I might have said it before. My grandma was roommates with Norma Jean, aka Marilyn Monroe. Norma Jean is what she went with. That's her real name before she changed it to Marilyn Monroe. And they lived in these like all girls' apartments in Los Angeles where like like girls would come Your to mom act. Like a, an actor? Yeah, she did modeling, acting as she went down. She didn't stay down here, but like they were roommates. That's so crazy, That's right? That's crazy. Yeah. Maybe she knows what her last meal was. We're gonna find out right now. What? Ooh, 
Sparkling apple cider. That looks delicious. This looks like some sort of hors d'oeuvres. Zamfam, I need your help right now. Part of me is going like that, but I, because like Marilyn Monroe is fancy. <laughs> but then I'm also like, <laughs> maybe she went out to dinner on a date with a boy, so maybe what she went to it? a steak dinner. Oh. Okay, my gut says that, but I feel like it's that. I'm gonna go steak and potatoes. You know, my gut says that too, but my butt says this. So I'm gonna go with apple cider and mushrooms. Hello! My faith is restored in Matt. He knew about Marilyn Monroe. Oh, so. Rebecca. Uh oh. Here you go. Okay, I'm still ahead of you. Oh, here's the bottom one. Oh, the muscle. Oh, yeah, muscle still wins. What was it? Hors d'oeuvres? It's like an hors d'oeuvres. She's probably at a party. Oh, but why didn't she eat a full meal? Like, who eats hors d'oeuvres? Hors d'oeuvres are before the meal, so wouldn't she have ate the meal? Rebecca, what if you're at a party? They just trade past hors d'oeuvres everywhere. Oh, and she must have been hungry when she went to sleep. Oh, man. It's popping bottles. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow, Matt, you're so fancy. Thank you. Thank you for these plastic glasses. Well, nothing but the best for my wife. Well, it's technically, it was for Marilyn Monroe. This is her, okay. Well, I guess you can drink that one. Yep, I got that one. Get you one as well. I'll get the tilted glass one. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. I love sparkling apple cider. I cannot help it, I love it so much. Tastes a little flat to me. No, it's really good. I love it. Can I have the rest of the bottle? Hey, I'm gonna do this in celebration of Marilyn Monroe's sparkling apple cider. You're just drinking it from the bottle? Yeah. Yeah. Rebecca, what are you doing? Mm. You're losing control right now. Okay, what are we up to? Three to two? Girls are in the lead right now. It looks like we might be pranking Matt. No, we're gonna prank Rebecca. Come on, Matt. We got this. Also, Zim Fam, what prank should we pull? Comment down below what you want us to do. This next one. Super hard to deal with as we're dealing with the last meal. Princess Diana. Oh, and she was in a car crash. Paparazzi were chasing her mm -hmm. when she died. The first time I ever heard the word paparazzi when they were describing Princess Diana. It was crazy. It was mayhem over there. Oh my gosh. She also had two sons, Harry and Prince William, which we know very well. Very, very well. Well, like, not like we're friends with them. We just, like, know who they are. I would be a friend with them. So, if you guys want to hang out, let me know. Why to LA to hang out? Yeah, or if you're already in LA, incognito, let me know. I'll join that party. Let's see what her last meal was. Steak and potatoes. This looks like a veggie omelet. And I think this is sole, like breaded sole. Mm. This is tempura. That's a very filling meal. But she was a princess, Princess Diana, so I don't know. But that seems weird. Mm. Like, that's a weird food combination that I don't think a princess would love. So I'm gonna go with steak and potatoes. Lock it in? Yeah, I'm gonna lock it in. I'm doing this for Maddie. It looks like that's an asparagus omelet with Dover sole and vegetable tempura. I'm going to set. No! No! Oh my Might gosh. Be in the pool right now. I can't believe they agreed to do this. They'd rather do that than eat this food. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Oh, Matt. Why does Matt know everything about like the princess? He knew about paparazzis too. Here we go. Oh, oh uh, this one. Just uh, one. Where? Show me the one. There it is. Yes. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, this is getting scary, Maddie. This is getting very extreme. I'm a little scared now that we're tied. This one's for you, Princess Di. Oh man. Feels like this one's been shipped directly from London. That'd be a long flight. How is it? It's actually. Remarkably good. Oh, I'm gonna pass on that one. I just hope Maddie's not in the pool yet. I'm trying my best right now. I've seen this movie a few times and I thought Jennifer Lopez played her very well. We bitty gonna... bitty bum bum. Yeah, Selena. Selena is an icon. Bitty bitty bum bum. She was one of the first Latin American singers to cross over to mainstream American music. Yeah. She, I thought, did a really good job in her, what was her favorite song that I had was, uh, Como la flor, something like that. I forget. Does anybody know that song? Can you sing it? Como la flor. See? Oh! Yeah, we be busting out. Selena's here all the time. But we're gonna figure out what her last meal was. Okay. Boom! <gasps> pizza! Ooh, that's a Ooh. good slice of pizza. This has some aroma. I actually read about this a little bit. It's also rumored that her husband loved to eat shark. We couldn't get shark here in California because it's illegal, so we have swordfish here, it looks like. Okay. And it's not even cooked. I really uh, hope that was not her last meal because I do not want to pick that. I think I'm gonna go with her husband's last meal. Okay, she was on tour all the time, on the go, on a tour bus, like she's probably just went off to the side and grabbed a slice of pizza. I'm going with pizza. Is this a prank, Matt? One of them has to be right. That's the whole point of this challenge, her last meal. Okay, what was the last meal? Oh, nobody knows what her last meal was. Okay, do we have any other options besides this? Because these were both wrong. Check the side of the table. Jack in the box. Okay, in the movie, she did love fast food. Ooh, taco. I do Yum. love me a Jack in the box taco. Oh, this is one of her favorite foods. Mm. We don't know actually what it is. So looks like Daniel and Maddie are gonna pay for this one. Oh man, they're probably getting punished there. Yes. As long as Daniel gets punished before Maddie does. Really? Oh no. Oh, okay. okay. Just go ahead. You go first. You have two left. I know, but who knows? This last one's even gonna hold me. Just think of a good prank for Matt if I don't make it. Oh, I already have one in mind. Oh! 
No! 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 That was scary. This is really scary. Thank you, little guy. If, if yours didn't break, then there's no way that mine will break, right? Unless like they're like different ropes and it's like different like strings. Oh no. I'm gonna name this one Thomas. Little engine that could save my life. This one? Yeah. Oh. I'm still in the game. Okay, what's the name of yours? I don't need to name mine. We have one of the most famous presidents here of all time, Abraham Lincoln. He does not lie, unlike Matt, who lies all the time. I don't lie hardly at all. Oh yeah, hardly at all. Yeah, there's That's moments, a lie right there. Moments throughout the day, I dare I Honest do Abe, it. not honest Matt. Okay, well, he actually died a really tragic death. Really? So, yeah, he was psh, with a blaster at a movie theater. Uh, it I wasn't do. a theater, it was a movie theater. I do right actually there. remember that, okay. Yeah, it was pretty bad, but one of these was his last meal. Let's see which one it was. What? Abraham Lincoln did not have a microwave, so I'm pretty sure. Or did sure. he? Was he the inventor of microwaves? He could have been. I know my pick. I'm pretty sure he didn't invent plastic, though. I'm, I'm going gonna go over here. So am I. Oh! That was so easy. Okay. So easy. Thank Obviously, you. you guys, anyone who did not know that Abe Lincoln did not have a microwave should probably read their history book again. I'm just saying he could have been the inventor of microwaves. Mm, then they would have said he was the inventor of microwaves. Let's taste his last meal. Okay. Is this something that's just been on thought from the 1980s? You mean 18? 1880s, Matt. Um, Wrong. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. This looks like maybe like a Thanksgiving type. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. What is it? Stuffing of some. Whoa, and this is cauliflower with cheese on it? Nobody wants that. I'm gonna do no, it. Don't do it, don't do it. Nope. Okay, I don't wanna, I don't have to, right? We guessed it right, we don't have to actually eat it, we just have to test it. I tested one thing. I'm done. Do you think anybody's in the pool yet? I hope not. <laughs> I'm getting so good. Next up we have Frank Sinatra. Good old blue eyes. Now he was probably one of the first crooners. He has some of the most listened to hits on the radio right now. What do you think his last meal was? I don't know. I don't know much about Frank Sinatra except he sang. One of these was his last meal. Let's see which one it was. <laughs> what? Come. Did he swallow it? Because if he didn't, that's not technically a meal. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes if... people use gum as their meal. I think it's going to be one of those odd things right now. This is one of those weird ones. Uh, I think it's gum. He had like a whole uh... case of gum. A whole case. Gum for me. Matt, okay, I'm gonna be happy if I get this right because um, I kind of want to have a grilled cheese, so. No, he didn't have gum. I could use some gum right now. Uh, uh, um, I'm going with grilled cheese. Oh, Maddie's going in the pool right now. <gasps> no, she's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That means you have to try it. Okay. And that means that Daniel might be just hanging out a little bit wet right now. How did Rebecca know more about Frank Sinatra? She loves her grilled cheese. Maybe there's like some other little rope that I don't see that's holding mm, me up. Let's see, let's see, let's look. No, you only have this one rope. I'm sorry, Daniel, but it looks like you're about to lose this. I'm gonna get you mad. Have I'm gonna get you mad. <laughs> and then there was one girl standing across the pool, Daniel. It's kind of cold. Let's get Matt over here. Yeah, come on, get back up. We are about to prank Matt, Zam fam. <laughs> I'm still gonna have some gum. I love grilled cheese. Even if it's not super warm right now, I still like it. You want Rebecca? You guys don't get to eat the gum. That wasn't the meal. The meal was the grilled cheese. You have grilled cheese or bust. You don't get that. Right, I should go check on the contestants right now, see how they're doing. I hope Maddie's not in the pool, Zam fam. Oh, hey, Matt. Hey, how'd it go? You guys do the rope thing here? I yeah, set you guys up with? Yeah, we did the rope thing. You know, Daniel actually lost girl power. But I think we actually like dropped something in the pool. Oh, are you guys okay? okay? Yeah, it was yeah. over there, but I can't really tell what it is. Can you see it? Why don't we just wait for the pool guy to get here? No, because I think it's really important. I think it might be like something is what? Yeah, I know. Can you like, yeah. can you see it? It's yeah. right over that edge. Daniel, are you? What are you doing? Just filming some slow mo. Filming slow Why are you filming slow mo? Matt, look. I, I think it's anything. Zadie's. Do you no, see anything? I don't see anything at all. What about now? Yeah. Prank! What just happened? Prank you, Matt. That's what you get for always dumping stuff on us in the toilet and then putting us out the pool. All right, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications and click right down here if you want to watch another video just like this. We should probably prank Rebecca now, right? No. Oh, yeah.